guys, this is Zach from Blackhead Electronic Cigarettes. Today I am going to show you the Sigeli Z-Max version 3 mod. It's variable voltage, variable wattage, and it's definitely one of the best mods on the market. I'm gonna break it down for you, show you all the functions, and explain why it's the best. What I'm gonna show you here is the Sigeli Z-Max version 3 kit. Uh, you're gonna have a charger plugs into the wall, uh, and I'll get into that in a second. Set that off to the side. Let's unbox this thing. Open it up, first thing you'll notice, you have the user manual. You've got the mod itself, two batteries. It comes with an 18650, which is 2200 milliamps, and an 18350, which is 900 milliamps. You get an EVOD clear miser and a separate bottom cap for use with the smaller battery. The Sigeli is uh, variable voltage, variable wattage, has quite a few settings. Um, it's telescopic for use with the different size batteries. So you'd spin this out. And I will show you with the 18650 in here. Uh, now the first thing when you put this battery in, if you look, you do not want the, the outer thread in here to go too far up. You want it to be about with the edge of the battery. Pop your cap on. And when you do that, you'll notice that the LCD screen comes on. You're gonna click five times and the system will turn on. Once that's on, you're good to go. You see it's actually kicking out some wattage there. Um, when you're using this with your clear miser, uh, one of the cool things about this is this top cap unscrews. So when you're using an EVOD or uh, similar uh, outer, like Ego outer threading clear miser, if you notice, as soon as you put it in, you don't have access to the base and you don't want to unthread this and pull your base off, spill your liquid. So this unscrews so that you have access to that to be able to unthread that without doing it. Pop that back on. Um, now the, the settings, in order to get into the menu, you're gonna click three times. That takes you into power on off. Uh, as you saw, the screen goes away, so three clicks. If you sit on it for a second, it'll go there. You can cycle back and forth between on or off. Make sure that's on. Uh, when, when you do that, that's how you're gonna lock it so that it won't send power out to your clear miser. Um, clicking it five times won't shut it off like on the Ego batteries. So when you're not using it, you just want to set that to off. And then when you're pressing the button, it's not gonna send power to it. So it's not gonna burn your core, burn your liquid. The second option is going to be power up, cycle back through. Uh, when you go into power up, again let it go in, and then you can cycle through. This does 3 watts to 15 watts in half a watt increment, or voltage from 3 volts to 6 volts in tenths, so 0 0.1, 0 0.2, so on. The third option is powered down, which means you can adjust downwards instead of upwards. And that's that's a diff that's, that's basically the only difference. Um, either one of those, power up or power down, is going to cycle all the way through. So if you are in power up and you circle around to say 15 watts, the next click is gonna take you back to three and you can keep going from there. The fourth option is battery voltage which is gonna show how much voltage is left on the battery. Uh, standard full charge usually runs about 4.2 volts. Uh, when it starts dropping down to the minimum, it's gonna be about 3.3. Pop back in, fifth option, LCD display. This lets you choose what you wanna show. You can do voltage, resistance, or the battery. If you're on battery, it's gonna show how much voltage is on the battery when you're pressing the button. Voltage is gonna show the power that you're running at. Resistance is gonna show the resistance of the core. 
And again, that's when you're pressing the button. So every time you press the button, that's the information that's popping up on the screen. When we go into option six, we have LCD on or off. That's gonna let you turn the, if, if you set it to off when you press the button, nothing's gonna pop up on the screen. That'll help conserve battery life a little bit. When you wanna cycle it back on, in case you wanna see, just hit that back on and then you'll be good to go. Option seven is power or voltage. And this is where you select voltage or wattage. Power is wattage. Voltage is obviously gonna run in voltage. Uh, I always suggest running in power setting, which is wattage, uh, because it gives you a little more leeway as far as uh, power while you're running. Um, so it, it gives it a little more consistency across the board. If you change the resistance of the core, it's still gonna put the same power output. Um, whereas if you're running in voltage, uh, the resistance of the core is gonna have an effect on the, the actual power output you have. Uh, we'll go into option eight. Now this is RMS and mean. Uh, RMS is what I always suggest to run in. Uh, that's gonna pulse the power so that while you're holding down the button, it's gonna be a wave that goes up, down, up, down, or basically on, off, on, off. That maintains uh, temperature of the core so that you can take a really long puff without it burning your liquid. If you're running in mean, it's constant voltage, and that is going to heat up the core continuously as long as you're holding the button. Uh, so that makes it very easy to burn your liquid or your core if you bring the power rating up very much. So that's basically the options in a nutshell. Again, this is with the 18650. Uh, there's quite a few different battery sizes you can get, which is what's the, another great thing about this. Uh, if we pop the battery out, you'll see this base here is relatively thick here. Uh, the short one, the spring size are the same, but the short one's gonna screw on higher so it's going to push the spring up. The only time you want to use this short one is with the 18350 battery. And with that one, you can thread this all the way up. Pop your battery in and you'll see that it's set inside there. That's why you want to use this one. That significantly shortens the whole system. And then again, if you're using any other size battery uh, and the options, you've got 18, uh, 18 450s, 18 490s, um, 500s, 550s, and then the 650. Uh, the difference between those is going to be milliamp hours, which is basically just going to affect how long the battery is going to run. Uh, again, when you're screwing your clear miser on, uh, it's always a good idea to make sure your, your clear miser, your base is really tight and thread that on. Now, as soon as you feel it make contact, you'll feel a little resistance, only go a tiny bit past that. If you screw that on too tight, it can make it a little hard to get that off, even, even with this coming off. And you also don't want to screw it on too tight because you can uh, push the pin inside there down and potentially mess up the electronics, which is the same on any battery. With the charger, when you take your battery, you have this slide here. All you're gonna do, you got a positive negative and the battery states positive and negative on it. This you just pop in. When it's plugged in, this light's gonna turn red. As soon as the light turns green, that means the battery's fully charged. And with the 18650, it has a little more tension to it because it's a lot wider. Pop that in, same difference. And you are good to go. So that's the Segeli Z-Max version three. It's, in my opinion, the best mod on the market because of the functionality, the adjustability, the wonderful price. It's got a great weight, a wonderful finish. And if you're looking for a variable voltage, variable wattage mod, this is definitely the one to get. So pick one up and we'll see you soon. I'm Zach from Black Hat Electronic Cigarettes.